And I've got my uh, dear friend on today, Dr. Thomas Matten. Man, what a word he carries. He comes packing today as a preacher. He packs the word of God. God uses him mightily uh, in the prophetic. He flows prophetically to leaders all over the world. Would you receive today, my friend, Dr. Thomas Matten? Thomas? Amen. Praise the Lord. So great to be here. Uh, what a privilege it is to bring the word of God to the people of the world. Um, Matt, I feel such a strong anointing. I'm having visitations here in, in, my, in my house while we're having the broadcast. And thank God for everybody that's on. Can we pray right now? I feel something. Father, we thank you for this crossover. I heard the Lord say there's a lifting up. And then a, a crossing upward and then back downward to the earth for the purpose of taking dominion, for breaking the powers of darkness. We thank you, Lord, that it's a new day and a new season and a new hour, a new outpouring for the purpose of us taking dominion as your people. There are angels being released on your behalf. Get ready to receive. I'm loving this worship. I think I need to pause it for a minute so I can flow here. But the Lord is releasing a new visitation to people. And during this season that we've been in, the Lord said it's a season for epiphanies, for new awakenings, for new things to happen, uh, for people to come back to the table, to come back to the boardroom, to come back before the Lord to come back before the CEO of the universe and get everything, you know, tweaked and fixed. And this has been a time of the presence of the Lord in, in, in my world. Um, it's just been phenomenal. And we thank you, Lord, for the, the, the spirit of the Lord coming upon people that they'll take dominion in this day and hour like they've never done it before. It's the time for that. And within the last seven days, I've had three visitations from the Lord. Uh, my friend, I've had three. And, uh, you know, a visitation from the Lord is when the presence of God will fill your place and you just get suspended into another dimension. Amen. And uh, and the Lord is, is he does that to talk to you. And sometimes you think he's bringing an instruction, a prophecy, a teaching, revelation. No, we flow in those all the time. That's a constant thing that's going on. 24-7, 365, because we're under an open heaven. But the Lord spoke to me, and he said to me, uh, I, I'm, I'm doing a lot of business. God is really blessing my life. I'm telling you right now, I, I wish I could testify we'd be here till tomorrow. I can't do it now, but the Lord is doing such great things. And I had a lot of that on my mind. And um, I began, of course, as we always do, when the Lord shows up, we begin to talk to him. You know, Lord, what about this? What about this? What about this? I thank you for this. And then we go on to the thank you, thank you, thank you mode. And I thought, wait a minute. God has come here to say something. I said, Lord, what do you want to say? He said, my son, I have called you to teach my people to preach and to prophesy and to declare what I'm saying to the, to the, to the nations of the world. Uh, and, and, and then he, it just paused and that was it. And I sat in his presence for another five or 10 minutes and he didn't say anything else. I thought, well, that's what you wanted to tell me. That's great. So that's just what I'll do, regardless of whatever else is going on. I'm going to continue in that. And we've been broadcasting, uh, daily now in some form or another. And the Lord, uh, said to me, uh, uh, on Tuesday, um, he said, I want you to prophesy that this lockdown will be broken. And he said, I'm saying this, heaven is coming to crush the lockdown and it's ending. And um, I saw a miracle happen the next day, a, a restaurant that was has been empty for takeout only for the last month and a half or however long it's been. The next day I walked in and it was full of people. Everybody was at all the tables. Now you see the reverberation of the churches coming alive saying, no, we can't stay closed anymore. And then God touched President Trump. He got incensed and infuriated about this because he's seeing it's an attack of the enemy to shut the voice of God, to shut down the church. And we, we don't need to allow that, you know, regardless of what you think about the quarantine, no one says there wasn't a virus. 
We all know firsthand, you know, people that have died from it, uh, people that it's, it's hit them and they've had uh, to battle and shake it off. There's ways to do it. And uh, the, 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 the increase of all the vitamins and the hydroxychloroquine and all that, you could take that and, and just kill this thing off. And, and, you know, the percentage of people that are falling off from this is, 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 is almost nil, it's minimal. So this is an attack against the church. It's time for the people to rise. And the Lord began to say to me, what do you see? What do you see? I have a, a teaching in one of my books that I've written here uh, on, on the law of sight. And you, can't, you cannot do anything unless you see it. You can't achieve anything or have anything unless you see it's yours. You see it and then you'll say it. And when you say it, you'll see it. I want to say that again. You see it and you'll say it. And then when you say it, you'll see it. So, and, and the person that has proper sight to see how victorious we are, the plan that heaven has for us, we're commanders of, of, of the spirit of faith to release things, to cause things to change. And this is a season of a change. It's not a time to be quiet or asleep, but we need to break the powers of darkness because they're, they're looking to just stop uh, good things to good people. Look at the econ economic devastation. I'm in Africa. A lot of people don't know this. Millions of people are hungry tonight, locked in their homes in many nations. A lot of you wouldn't maybe hear that. You're definitely not going to hear it through the news, uh, you know, these news things. Uh, and, and people don't know about that. But this has caused people to suffer. And it's wrong. And I want us to pray right now in agreement. This is the crossover. I love it. We're crossing over to another dimension. Isaiah 43, 18 says, remember not the former things, consider not the things of old, because I'm going to do a new thing, says the Lord, and I'm going to pour it out. And, and he says, I'll even cause uh, uh, rivers to run in the desert, in the dry places. I'll cause my presence and my power to move for you. Let's pray right now. Father, we thank you that this thing is being broken and crushed and the whole world is coming loose and the church is going to begin to rise in power in ways that we've never seen before. Someone was talking about consecration, and I have a thing that I've written, a, a, a statement about sanctification. Sanctification is a, a deeper dipping in God, in the purpose of God. It's a nature thing. It's a nature change thing. The way you see can cause your, 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 your victorious nature of the spirit that's in you to come alive. And the Lord wants to bless you in every way. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants you to see God correctly. He wants you to see yourself correctly. He wants you to see other people for who they are. He wants you to see things as yours. He wants you to see nations as yours. And it's the time for that to happen now. You can only go where you see yourself going. And the Lord says, I'm getting ready to bless my people. Financial breakthrough is coming supernaturally to people in a time when the economy has been damaged. And I'm experiencing that. I, I tell you, it's hard to say that you're really walking with God and then God doesn't begin to do miracles for you. There's a, and let me tell you what's upon this ministry. The Lord spoke to me so clearly, and I've said this before, the spirit of favor is upon this order. The spirit of God's touch of favor is upon this thing. And when you're connecting, you all of you that are watching, all of you that are connecting with uh, this visitation and this, this move of the spirit that's touching many, many dozens and over 100 nations of the world. It should, go, it should go beyond that because it's 200 plus nations of the world. The whole entire earth, there's favor. And when you're connecting, as you're watching here, there's a release of the touch of heaven to put favor on your life. All of your blessing and prosperity and success comes from favor it comes from God's favor when God favors you and he raises you up and he causes you to walk into something new a new door a new platform a new mountaintop a new uh, uh, territory a new network a new thing God he's going to begin to do that but the Lord said to me <sighs> about breaking the lockdown and about what he wanted me to be doing and then he said, in the third visitation, he said this. He just came by his glory. He said, son, I'm with you. And I believe that's the word of the Lord to many people. I'm with you. 
and I'm working things out for you and working things out on your behalf. Father, thank you. I feel the presence of the Lord right now. The touch of heaven is coming. Can we just lift our hands and receive this right now? There's an anointing here. There's an outpouring here. There's something new that's going to happen. It's going to come upon your, 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 your life to cause you to rise up in boldness and power and to begin to move forth and take dominion all over the world. The Lord wants you to be successful. He wants you to be prosperous. He wants you to be rich. He wants you to be healthy. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to be fulfilled. He wants you to be achieving. He wants you to see. He wants you to have even significance. Your significance is based on your uniqueness and not your similarity to anyone else. God can make you unique. He's made you very unique. He's making you unique. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. And the more you identify and get back in the presence of the Lord, the Lord can just take you and begin to put his, 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 his workings, uh, you know, in and on and through you to touch and shake things loose. And I think that I feel like the Lord is raising up warriors. I feel there's a warrior realm being added even to this broadcast right now. The sword of the Lord, the sword of fire, the, the, the angels of the Lord. I tell you, if you can feel this, you can feel this right now. There's an anointing here. Receive the touch right now. God's putting a sword in your hand. He's putting a staff in your hand. He's putting authority in you, upon you and in your hand and in your mouth. And the Lord says, rise up, my son, rise up, my daughter, take dominion, move out. Don't stay where you've been. Don't stay stuck. Get moving into the place where I've ordained you to be. And the Lord says, all of your, 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 your significance in the earth is based around the gift and talent that he's put in you. You need to know what that is. And there's one thing we always need to know is what to do next. Next, what's next, Lord? What's next? And God can speak to you, even in milliseconds of time. What to do next? What to do next? What to do next? Where to go? How to flow? What, what the doors can open? Relation and in this season of time, there's new relationships being birthed and born. It's just phenomenal what God's doing. Father, I release the grace of heaven upon your people. You know, the Lord spoke to me yesterday. Man of God, the Lord spoke to me. And he said, I want people to, uh, it's interesting, I was coming on and I don't know what happened there. I guess God flipped the script. <laughs> He's good at that. Now, here we are. And uh, the Lord spoke to me yesterday and he said, I want people to begin to connect with the spirit of favor that's upon this ministry. I understand that there's a CD gift that you have that you'll send to people and partners, but I, I, I want us to pray right now. Father, thank you for the touch of heaven for the touch of your glory that's coming upon people. And I tell you, this is good soil. This is good ground because it's reaching multitudes across the nation. And there is going to be an awakening, uh, an awakening of, of a new breed, of a new order, of a new season, of a new people. A new company, a new, a new fire brands filled with the power of God. Everywhere they go, new things get done. In your business life, God wants to bless. He wants to bless you in the marketplace. You in the ministry wants to bless you. And I mean, beyond imagination, people send money when you don't even need it. Beyond what you can, you know, God will take care of his own. But there's a release right now. I feel it. There's a breaking forth. The spirit of poverty is being canceled out. The spirit of the glory of the Lord to release prosperity and blessing and favor upon you is coming. And this is a storehouse of favor right here. I want to challenge everybody. I want to talk to everybody to sow a seed. I know there's a monthly partnership that you can do. But I, I heard the Lord say there's people that could even sow $1,000, can even sow $500 or a good seed of $300 if that's what you had. or Whatever the Lord would talk to you. I love, um, we saw the Nike company had a brand come out. You know, the, those three words came from the Bible. I don't even think they know that, but the son, they just do it. Remember, Jesus' mother said, mama said, whatever he tells you to do, just do it. The Lord can speak to you 
and connect. I feel an anointing flowing. And the Lord says, my son, my daughter, I'm going to release the greatest day of favor for you. I'm going to work things out on your behalf. I'm going to cause people to be a blessing to you. I'm going to cause you to be a sign and a wonder. I'm going to cause your work to flourish. I'm going to cause new beginnings and new things where you've had pain in the past and people that have been betrayed and hurt and stolen from or had different warfares. I feel this, the spirit of deliverance is just being breathed like, like fire upon you in Jesus name. There it is. You can show these three ways by PayPal. That's a wonderful thing. That's international and global PayPal. How is it? It's um, awake the world doctor. Yes. And um, giving by the other thing, awake the world and text to give on 407. 407- 289-1808. You can do that right now. Ask, bow your heads and ask the Lord what he'd have you to do and do it. I feel a wave of deliverance coming for deep rooted hurts. People that have been really wounded and bound, people that have been experiencing sickness, people that have experienced setbacks. Uh, the Lord says it's time for your comeback. There's, wow. Whew. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's coming. Receive right now. Put your hand on your phone or your your laptop or wherever as a point of contact. Father, we release the fire. Fire right now upon. Let it come right through the screen, right through this media. Right through this medium of media. In Jesus' name, a new touch from heaven. A new torchlight of fire. The Lord says, I wanted a nation even to be born in a day. Isaiah 66 verse 8. Can you believe God for that? Psalm 2 verse 8 says, ask of me and I'll give you the nations for your inheritance. Can you believe for that? Well, you need money. You need blessing. You need favor. You need provision. You need prosperity. You have to have it in order to move. And God says, I'm going to bless you, my son, my daughter. It's a time to sow. Even out of your need. Even out of your desire it's a time to connect the spirit of favor is being released father thank you for the grace i trust you can feel the presence of the lord that i'm feeling here and the angels of the lord are going out on your behalf they're going to come in touch there's so many other things i wanted to say but this is this is a visitation from god right now coming here father bless all of our friends in ministering those that were on all the other broadcasts i also declare over them that they connected into the spirit of favor that's upon this ministry and new things are going to happen for them too. And all these days of the broadcast, everybody let a, an apostolic oasis of glory, an apostolic awakening that's upon this ministry come upon each and every one of them in new ways. Father, all of us that are here have had our walk with you for many years. Your hand is upon our life done exploits through us all over the world but there's something about the connection of the family here and partnership with this family here i'm going to sow a seed too i'm gonna i'm gonna do that myself the lord is chat is talking to you right now just do what he tells you to do father i thank you for the grace of heaven i heard the lord say uh, uh psalm 105 verse 11 he said i will give you land even as your inheritance Psalm 112 went on to say that wealth and riches will be in the house of those that fear him, that are walking with him and love him and are connecting with him. There's a grace here. There's a grace here. There's a grace here. We're going to come back and I, I, we may have some ministry time flowing here. But I love you, man of God. I love you. I celebrate you. I thank God for this network. It's going to expand. And let me just Amen. declare, it's going to expand to all the nations of the earth. The day yes. is coming. And even on every yes. continent, <laughs> I'm just overcome here, but every continent yes, of the Jesus. earth, all six. Now, the seventh yes, one, Jesus. the penguins are there. And we don't preach what language will be preached to penguins. So it's cold. It's too cold there. Antarctica. But all the six continents, <laughs> North America, South America, Asia, Africa, yes. um, Australia, and, and, and all, even through the Middle East, all through the entire world is going to be representation of this yes, order. Jesus. And I thank you, Lord. Everybody. Father, talk to the 
You know, I feel like God is giving people specific numbers of what to do. Let a flood of finance begin to flow. And as you sow into this thing, favor that's upon this work is coming upon you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. What a word. Thank you so much uh, for, for even leading people in their generosity. Thomas, Thomas Matten, you got something that God wants to release through you, sir. Amen. While okay, we're Okay, getting... I'm here. You hear me? There we go. Good to hear you. Hi. Yeah. Hey, well, I, something amazing. When uh, Hunter and Allison were doing the Knock Knock song, when they said, when she said knock and then knock, I saw seven and seven. And I saw the sevens coming together, like seven, like meaning like God's wisdom, God's knowledge, understanding, counsel, might, amen, uh, glory and honor. The seven things we see that in Isaiah 11, two, and also in uh, Revelation 5, 12. I saw those things like on God's side coming together to bring some perfection for you. And many people have gone through a lot of problems, a lot of things more than they would say. But I see this as the season and I want to prophesy this as a wide shot to the whole body. This is the season in an hour when God's going to take his, per his power with a seven. He, the Bible even calls him the seven spirits of God in Revelation also in Isaiah 11 too. And coming together to perfect something in your life and coming together, boom. And and of course, if we take the two together, it becomes the number 77. And I I was wondering about something specific if the Lord would challenge me to do. And I want to turn that into a seed for myself of $77. I'm going to sow that by my car, on car, card online. And I believe many others will join with me to do that. Uh, there's an anointing on this. For the seven and the seven just coming together, boom! I want to challenge every leader, every business, every 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 church, every ministry, every person to do this in, in your day of a crossover to a new thing. And um, uh, Apostle, I heard the Lord say this. I heard so clearly, just about three four minutes ago. The Lord says, "I'm gonna I'm gonna raise up a network of partnership. It's gonna be hundreds and hundreds of people across." Fire. Uh, across the nations, hundreds of people, they're going to join together in this family and they're going to be partners with you. And I see you writing blogs and newsletters and words and sending it to them. And they're going to begin to DM you off the chain. It's going to be like, you, you're going to, at times you're going to be, it's almost like, it'd be like, wow, it's overwhelming. Can someone help me answer all this mail? The Lord says, I'm opening the floodgates of communication and I'm having a family to partner together. It's like they're members of something. They're joining something. I want to be the first right now. I want to have an inaugural effect on this right now. I saw the seven and the seven in the air, like boom together. And the Lord said to me, do that. I'm taking that and make it into something action for myself. $77, I'm going to sell that by card. It's not a big amount. I believe that's something everybody could do. I want to sell much more. I want to do a lot of things. But uh, as an inaugural thing right now, and the Lord says, many partners, but it's going to be a loving family. And the Lord says, you're going to be surprised, uh, absolutely thrilled and surprised with tears in your eyes, seeing how many people are connecting with you in this season and hour. So whatever the Lord, again, whatever the Lord tells you to do, just do it. I'm doing that. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Hey, man, if, if you got something, release it. Father, for the economic breakthrough that's coming upon your people's lives, you're going to give them treasures even from hidden places. You're going to open up new sources for them. You're going to open up new economies for them. You're going to create ministries that have their own economies. You're going to create entrepreneurs to be blessed with fire. It's going to come forth to prosper in the marketplaces and in like never before that we can take the media, we can take the uh, uh, just so many opportunities to release your glory to the nations. And the day and the hour has come for the blessing of the Lord to come upon you. Proverbs 10, 22, he said, the blessing of the Lord will make you rich and add no sorrow with it. We thank you, Lord, for the wealth of the wicked coming into the hands of the righteous. 
Proverbs 13, 22. We thank you for Deuteronomy 8, 18. You said that you would cause us to have the power to create and generate wealth, to make, to manage, to multiply monies and resources. We thank you for economies that yes. people in this season and hour will not lack yes. anything, but they'll prosper because of the hand and the touch of yes. God upon them. Jesus. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.